Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we are going to Morning 10 and we are walking the banner section from Baxter to Muraduck. I've had a lot of people saying they want to see me do this line, so I'm keen to finally get around to do it. So we're going to start at Baxter and we're going to walk down to Muraduck Station and then maybe see what's happening at Mornington Railway. Uh, I'm not alone today. I'll have my mate Geordie. I'm going to pick him up now. And then we're going to drive straight down and begin our walk, see what's happening in Mornington Railway. I think that's the basic plan for the day. It's another beautiful, sunny Melbourne day, so I'm taking advantage of it and filming. So yeah, let's get down there. Roll the intro. <laughs> I have covered a bit of the history in a previous video on the Mornington Railway, but let's go through a few of the notes again. The Mornington Railway line branches off from Baxter, which is the Stony Point line. The line had a life of 92 years, opening in 1889 and closing in 1981. The line would eventually see use again, as in 1984, the Mornington Railway Preservation Society was formed. They restored K163 in their old base at Crib Point, and in 1991, they leased the line from Moraduck to Mornington Station, the new one they have now. All right, so I made it to Baxter Station. Uh, both of us are here. Uh, as you can see down the other end there, the left side of the track is what is the abandoned section of the line, uh, where it splits off to from the Stony Point line and to the Mornington line. We're going to start walking down now, and we're going to head over to see what we can find. Uh, hopefully there's not too many bushes or whatever, but we'll see what happens. Got an old telephone wire just over here. I don't know if that one's still in use as it's still next to the main line, but the tracks are already getting pretty, pretty bad. But at least there's a little side path here that we are walking down. Just something across this next to the track. What is that? And it's got like some metal. I think this is like the roof of what it was here. You know what it is? There was a fire in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, interesting. Dude, that, does that not look like a guard or a fender? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's like a headlight. Hmm. Just coming up to a whistle post now. First one on the line that we've seen. And they're actually using a rail, uh, a rail itself to hold it up. Just coming up to another whistle post here uh, before a complete wall of blackberry bushes that we're not going to walk through. So we're just going to keep walking along that side little path there. But yeah, uh, second whistle post for the line. Nice bit of the line, uh, another telephone wire there, another one there, and we're on like a pretty high embankment at the moment, and there's like another, uh, like a drive trail going down that way. And we can see there's a main road just over there. Oh, so that's the old uh, electrics box for the signals uh, for the crossing, but the, even the road is actually paved over the railway itself, and going that way. We'll have to see if we can walk and how far we can get in there. And there's the other signal box as well for the crossing. Yeah, sort of going into the deep end now. I don't really know if there's a pathway after this first level crossing. All right, we're pushing a little bit. Just going to see if it clears up. If it doesn't, then we're going to go back and I'll drive around to uh, the other crossing or whatever else is there that I can find. And I know I'm looking for the tunnel uh, that goes under the city link, which Definitely, we will film that today. Okay, so for those who want to walk the line, you can definitely walk it from the first bit uh, from Baxter, but don't do this second bit. It's too, yeah, there's too much here. So we are going to go back and I'm going to drive uh, to the next spot and see what we can do from there. I say, so we pulled into the BP. Uh, we're in like a bit of a field right now. Uh, we're kind of going through a, yeah, like a fenced off area, but. Yeah, we found the track. Uh, we just dumped the fence and we're going to go in there now and find the bridge. Yep. Tracks ahead. And we're back on course. On what looks like a pretty good section of the line to walk. Alright, let's keep going.
people are definitely walking this bit as well because there's a single path like a track caved out for uh for a, like a walking path basically tunnel that's going underneath the, the city link uh, freeway and it's interesting because the city link the bridge where we're under now was actually constructed after the railway had shut down which means they were thinking about reopening the line or at least having the option to reopen this bit of the line to Mornington or to Moraduck again so yeah pretty cool and yeah plenty of graffiti around and plenty of rubbish on the floor everywhere so yeah a lot of people have been coming here and throwing away shit or doing whatever they do under bridges as i've said before so yeah all right we've just come to a crossing uh for the bike path that's next to the actual freeway and once again the railway itself is still in the ground and kept safe uh just because you never know if they reopen this line one day so interesting don't know if you can see but this is all like water it's like wetlands maybe like a lake or something uh, next to the railway line and we're continuing on to Mornington or Murdoch station actually there's another old uh, telephone wire over there line side and the uh, actual footpath is over there as well that people ride their bikes on um, yeah look at us we are walking the track there's a perfectly good path next to the track but you know what more interesting would you agree yeah winners don't take the easy trail exactly exactly this is actually clearing up a little bit i think we made some pretty decent progress uh what was a hard line to walk uh, anyway but yeah it's not too bad and we're getting pretty close to Murdoch station now for the heritage railways yeah literally as i said that we had to pull off the track because it's full of blackberry bushes along the whole way so So we like started feeding this horse here yeah, and this little pony, this guy here, actually burst through the fence over there just to get to us because we were feeding this guy. Oh, that's funny, as. All right, so we drove down to Murdoch Station where the tourist line begins. This is where the Peninsula Link Trail ends as well. And it's interesting to see that the asphalt here still has the railway tracks in the ground ready to be reopened one day hopefully in the future now what was meant to be a quick pit stop into the tourist railway to say hello to some friends ended up being the greatest railway journey i've had so far this is state carriage to melville named the train of knowledge this was one of the royal cars on the royal train this took the royal family i believe it was the prince from 1905 around the state and this was his personal car there was a bar to serve hot food and drinks, a shower, a bathroom, and viewing platforms at each end of the carriage. This carriage isn't available to the public just yet, but will be after the restorations are complete. Comment below any information you have on this railway carriage, or if I got anything wrong, let me know. What do you think, mate? You having a good day? Um, this is the <laughs> best train day ever. <laughs> uh, this is his first day at Mornington, <laughs> at Mornington Railway, and he's already in the train of knowledge, getting the best of the best treatment. I got lucky. <laughs>
you think, Jordy? Having a good, a good first day at Mornington? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Now, this was something I've always dreamed about as a kid, just being right behind a locomotive on a journey, hearing the whistles, smelling the smoke, and this is just what it's all about. And this is why I love heritage trains and especially steam trains. A massive thank you to everybody at the Mornington Tourist Railway. You're all so friendly. It's always great to see all of you, especially my good friend Owen. Thanks for always looking out for me. Now, back to the video. At Mornington Station, let's continue the abandoned line. So here at Mornington, this is where the Tourist Railway ends and this is where the railway line ends as well. There is a crossing in the road, which is actually where the alignment continues on to the original Mornington station. Factories and a shopping complex is built over the original alignment. The station platform that they built now for the tourist railway isn't the real thing, it's just something for the tourist railway. But if you head on over to the Mornington Central shopping complex and you have a look around, you might just see a Mornington station platform sign. Along with some information on a board next to the bench just under the sign itself, you will be able to read a little bit about the history about Mornington Railway Station. It's a nice little feature to have as a reminder that the alignment did come through here. Embedded on the rock just in front are two plaques, one with the original Mornington Station from 1916, and on the other side, K163, made to commemorate 150 years of steam rail in Victoria. Okay, so we just finished up filming the uh, video of walking the abandoned line from Baxter to Murdoch Station and a quick visit to Mornington Railway, which was a great bonus and what a day out. I'd just like to thank all the volunteers. Thanks to everybody who let us on the train and in the train knowledge. And we got that amazing squeeze view. Thank you to Owen for everything and always being so welcome and all the staff there. So I really appreciate you guys. Uh, please visit Mornington Railway, support them, donate, um, you know, check it out. And it's a great day out, you know, his first time. And yep. yeah, he, he, he loved it. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. If you liked the video, give us a like, subscribe, uh, leave a thumbs up, uh, comment below if you enjoyed the video and comment what you want to see me do next uh follow me on my socials instagram facebook and tiktok so yeah we'll see you in the next one guys take care